Operation Eagle Stomach continues. Let's see what we've got done. Well, the final moment has arrived. This thing is so close to coming out. I've got the transmission almost completely separated. As you can see, there's the torque converter in there. It's quite a gap. So, it's time to get to work and pull this thing out once and for all. Okay, I got a couple things to unbolt. everything. Now I've got one ground. That's just a 10 millimeter bolt. Here we go. There we go. The whole car motor just swinging in the air. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that's a very pretty sight for me. That's awesome. That's a lot of work I did. <laughs> it's just hanging there. Look at this nice hole. That's awesome. Oh my god. Now the hard part is putting it all back together. So here is the flywheel. Partially chewed up. I didn't know the torque converter would be on the engine. Well, it looks like I bent the, the starter thingy on its way out. Geez, how, e how easy would it be to do a head gasket now, eh? Gotta have the head off in like 20 minutes. Well, since I'm keeping this car, I might, I might do that. Time to push this piece of shit back now. Voila! Transmission's hanging in a funny way, it won't shift from park. So I can't push it out right away.
nên Front end sure sits a lot higher now that it has probably ass the motor's out. Anyways, now we've got some more problems because the transmission's sitting funny. The axles are, well, the boots are kind of brittle. I want to make sure they're not going to crack, so I'm going to try and pop them out. It's almost out. I have to unbolt the axle over there. Pop it out here, pop it out there. I'm gonna take out the transmission too because it has, it's actually, this engine was actually designed to come out the bottom. So I wanna make sure it's gonna go in properly when I put it back in and match up the transmission with that before it goes back in because when it was in there, well, I actually had planned to pull out the engine and the transmission together, but uh, all of a sudden it popped free, so what the hell? So a few more things and this one will come out now. I'm gonna have to put that on the floor again. So now this car will be very easy to look for look over for a safety inspection now. Since there's absolutely nothing in here now. Didn't have that right socket size for the axle. Ran to the store and picked up a one and a quarter inch socket which is pretty freaking massive so now we're gonna break those free take off the axle it was raining so we had to put the hood back on should be ready to pull out this transmission right away well it's broken free now it's already loosened off we've got the transmission sitting in a funny spot as you can see the pen is just hanging down funny you know because I did show you it was crooked so I don't know if it's gonna push through or not but we'll give it a try No, I don't think so. I think we got to move the transmission over. We might have to do the other side first. Who knows? Cody's all comfy on his chair there. And he's lifting on a transmission. How easy is that? Okay. Go for it. That sure makes it easy. No, a little more, a little more. You got the axle there. Yeah, well, okay, that's good. You guys want to push it out now? Here you go. Shit. You're just gonna push there too? You're pushing in luxury. Unfreaking believable. We're all comfy and we're just pulling transmissions and oh shit. <laughs> brake, stop! Brake, stop! <laughs> Pull the emergency brake. Okay. Crash into the. It's gonna quit. That's He finally had to get out of his chair. <laughs> so what do we have here now? We've got a hanging transmission. Let's see if I can get this better. We've got a ripped seal now where the axle goes in. That'll be a $2 gasket. But look at this. You can see all of those shavings from the metal. From the metal on the um, flywheel. On the flywheel. Which means we, uh, we gotta flush the transmission up, don't we? At least. No, this is the, the bell housing. Oh. Now we've got the motor sitting on the floor now. So until we get it, supposed to have it sitting on the floor like that. So until we get a new flywheel, do not have the motor. Is that home? Okay, you'll get the oil This is our home. That's okay. You got TV and Super Nintendo. Yes. Catch us attack.